All right, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number nine for today. In the last episode, we got to Champ 2 Division 4. So we're just about to reach Champ 3. This is going to be the point where we're really going to see that consistency of the players in the high uh, champ to low grand champ level. Grand champ is going to be the hardest, obviously, to reach SSL. But as you can see so far throughout the series, if you've been following along, which is all in a playlist, by the way, we've been dealing with everything pretty well based on positioning alone. So we're going to have to start to bring out some mechanics as we go up through the series here. And obviously, we've started to have to score for our team and work around our teammate a little more uh, than usual. But before we do get into the games, we have to do the meme comment of the day. And today we have... Scott Richmond with extra on extra. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think I can get him on the pack of gum. Let, let's see what we can do here. All right, we have a bit of a basic one here, but I couldn't figure out a way to put him on an extra pack of gum because there's no space for him. So instead, I got a picture of extra here uh, with his fingers pointing in. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, but we're going to be trying to make him hold this piece of gum and uh, see where this goes. I have no idea what's going to happen, but that's kind of the beauty of these things. So let's start with uh, grabbing the pack of gum here and uh, sort of chopping it out of this background. That's pretty good. Just going to smooth it out real quick. There we go. Now I got to rotate it real nice. <laughs> I think just as an extra like extra thing, I want to extra extra thing. I just realized what I was saying. Uh, I'm going to grab his finger and put it in front of the, the gum so he's holding it all nice. There we go. Grab that. Just place it on top. Maybe I'll just rotate it a bit. Now, I would like a clean version of this where his teammates aren't there. So I'm going to try uh, a spot healing tool and see what happens. I'm going to select this layer. Uh, and uh, we'll just see what, what it does with Monkey Moon here. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, what is, what is happening? Why is there an eye up there? Uh, now what I could probably do is grab this background here. Maybe even just grab the color. I don't even need to worry about the, the texture of it. Just kind of paint it on there. No one will notice. You'll notice because you, because I said it, but still, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, let's grab, uh, the spot healing again. Let's grab Mark real quick. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay. Oh God. What? <laughs> There's three eyes. Um, I feel like I have to mention this is not sponsored by Extra, but here it is. We've got Extra on Extra, which is looking kind of extra. Thank you to Scott Richmond for this idea. Uh, definitely a funny one. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see for the next photo, but let's get into the games. Hope you guys enjoy. No, I don't. Okay. Anyway, let's move to the first game here. Go for a kickoff uh, with a little bit of a speed flip. Not really a speed flip, just sort of a diagonal diagonal flip this guy got the corner boost and good finish so louis ended up just passing it to uh <laughs> my teammate <laughs> i'm not gonna say his name if you missed it but uh really bad pop down he could have cleared that far across instead of uh placing it in midfield there he's upset with himself as you can see he's gonna cheat up a little bit and grab this one boost pad he got a chip on the field once i see that he's um you know once i see that he's got the ball before me i gotta be a little bit careful uh, not to go for that and turn around as soon as possible. Let's see what my teammate does here off the side. Good shot towards target. Louis should have a save. Now this ball is going to bounce awkwardly to a point where my teammate, I mean the opponent can still have this ball. So I'm going to just go back, backfield or backboard. As you see, the second that I see that my the opponent has possession on that ball. Good, good, uh, good block there. The second that I see that he has possession, uh, I end up just backing out and I think he chipped it too far. <laughs> good try though. And he ended up missing the corner boost too. Just going to wait and see what happens. Good block. Now I have some space on this ball. My teammate wants to. I'll, I'll push this backwards. See, I'm putting it, putting it away from the opponent and giving it to my teammate. And this actually might give us a free goal just for, based on that. Good save, but this should be a finish. There we go. So that back pass, that possession that I kept with my team, let us. What are you saying? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I think he's laughing at his aerial. It wasn't. The, <laughs> it was a good effort. No, it was good. He tried. He tried for the uh, the aerial there. It was. It was. It was a good effort. I'm gonna stay close in case my teammate challenges early. He, he ends up backing up and faking faking the ball, which is actually good. Now he can rotate behind me. This guy hit the ball off the wall, and it does pass middle. But I'm ready for that because I can just wait for the fake. I'm gonna try and pass this middle now. Okay, my teammate actually came towards uh, the ball, so I'll just wait for the play. See what they do with this. Ooh, maybe. Nice shot. Yeah, so we're obviously seeing players in, in high uh, champ who have really good positions, really good aerials. Like, they really good follow-up off the wall. And uh, unfortunately, Louis couldn't quite get the, the wall defense. So he can't... Um, he hasn't really had great wall play in this entire match. He's got some good saves, but 
Um, his reads off the wall have not been fantastic. So that just takes time to get used to. My team is going for the back corner. I know there's lots of space for my teammate to go for the boom. So let's wait for him to go for the shot. Good save from Louis. There's a good read. So he's good off the ground, but his wall play isn't great. And I'm going to pass this. Uh, okay, I'm actually not going to pass it because he's not on the left side. So I'm just going to stay close. Good beat there. Louis going for the boost. He ended up not getting the boost. He was going for a bump. Oh, good save. This will be a shot still. Good finish. So I waited for my teammate to go for a challenge. Ended up going behind his car. Um, he, I think he, oh, he did avoid the bump, so he couldn't quite get a strong challenge. But a good finish from Louis here to follow it up after the, the boost deal. All right, so I'm just going to sit, sit behind here, make sure he gets a good solid challenge before I push up too far. Good. He still has it. So I'm just going to back off. I know that um, once the ball goes to the wall there, that the opponent's going to have it first because Louis, I mean, uh, my teammate <laughs> has to go grab the uh, the mid boost before he goes to the wall. Meanwhile, the guy that went back corner already can, uh, you know, get the ball before him full speed. It's a really good f follow up from uh, the opponent. But it's going to go up the backboard, so I'm not too worried about this. Could try for a, uh, a midfield pass. Good block. Both of us got the defense there on lock. Goes to the corner. Once again, they can't. They're behind the ball, so there's no way they can really um, get anything going there. Okay, that's a really good fast challenge for them. They pick up the pace because they need some goals here. Could be a shot. Wait, see what happens. A little bit of a boom piece. A, bu a boom. <laughs> I read my teammate's name and then I said boom instead. Uh, a really good bump from. Uh, not really good bump. I don't know why I said that. He, he ended up bumping his teammate and he said thanks, but he wasn't. it wasn't on purpose. I'm going to grab the boost here and try to pop it. And grab this boost as well by boosting. Now they're very low. Yeah, once again, Louis with not the greatest wall reads. So that's definitely a big weakness of his. I could have scored that if I tipped it really, really fast. But that's a really difficult angle. If you don't feel confident, you can just, you know, go for a pop. Sort of test the waters. Teammates leaving it for me. So I'm going to go for the clear. Baggins went for the touch. And I'm going to back off behind him. Just uh, simple rotations. This guy's going to turn on this. Now, I got to be in a shadow position here. I might get demoed, so I'm just going to back off. Good possession by Louis, but a good demo. This is going to be a pop too high. Don't try for that. It's just a, you know, a failed attempt on net. It's not anything that, that, went, wrong, that went wrong necessarily, just that it's a position where you can't really, um, you know, reliably make a good shot. And the, the way that, that, that my uh, this guy right here, he made a touch. It popped way too far from his car. And at that point, that's when I know... Not to go for the ball. Any or now I know to go for the ball. I'm so confused today. I'm so sorry. I'm going to stay close to this here. He's turning early. Ends up backing off. And this should be a finish. There we go. The guy went for a really, really early aggressive challenge. And Baggins wasn't behind him to uh, to challenge the ball or uh, support him. So he ended up missing. Louis is making a few rushed decisions off the backboard and in midfield. That's making him uncomfortable. Where he could have waited for Baggins to get behind him before he makes a play. So I'm not moving the ball too fast down the field quite yet. I think I was so confused uh, trying not to say my teammate's name. Because honestly, YouTube might cause some issues. But we're champ three here. Definitely just good positioning and good decisions based on where my teammate was. And my teammate was playing pretty well off the wall as well. But yeah, like the biggest thing to take away there is if you, got, if you have really difficult positions on the backboard. Just getting used to those wall touches in free play would be a really good start. Making a quick... Quick hits off the wall, making sure you can clear the ball with one touch off the backboard, or just trying to jump off the wall and, and making adjustments. I'll see if I have time off off this kickoff here too. Oh, he's not going, so this could be dangerous. All right, so I've got some space. Gonna move it down the field, see if uh, I'm not gonna say that guy's name either. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically just getting used to jumping off the wall like this and air, roll, air rolling to a point where your car is flat. Doing this over and over again is gonna be really good for you to. Get used to uh, how to aerial and then move right into an air dribble. See if uh, Bentel can go for a touch here. They end up passing it right to me. Not a great shot. Could have shot that a lot faster, but we're just testing the waters here. Gonna stay behind here. Good pop. I could probably could have boosted a little bit to grab the boost um, in case the opponent went for that, which he still might. Yeah, so that, that was a misplay not to grab the boost, as you can see. Um, I'm going to pop it to the right. My teammate wanted to pop it as well, but they're all on the uh, the right, the left side. So let's see what they do with this. Got some space. No need to panic. See, I'm waiting on the left side, already ready for that next that next play. The player that's defending or making a challenge. Um, see, my teammate want, maybe wanted that, so I was a little bit careful with how I approached that. Um, the way that they're approaching the ball on the on the attack is from the right, so they're going to hit the ball to the left. So I'm already on that left side. And as you get into high SSL, people are, are more and more aware of that, so they try to like fake out that they're going one way. Like, for example, I'm on the, the right side of the ball. Now I'm going to chip it like this and try to you know cause some 
disruption, but obviously they read it pretty well. It's both players. Bento's trying to make a challenge. Pretty early challenge, but I'm already behind him now. They pop off the wall. I see that he's trying to follow it. Once I see that he's he's uh, recovered on the wall, I'm not going to try and push up for that. Try and keep this close. Go for a block. Players are moving a lot faster. I can start to, you know, play. Oh, this should be open here. Good finish. Yes, yeah, so they ended up uh, overcrowding on the left side there. Um, but as I was going to say, the people are recovering a lot faster on the walls. People are um, trying to make follow-up touches. Um, I think it was Smiley Face made a bad touch by trying to pop that backwards to his teammate. Because his teammate was already ready there. I want to go for this immediate touch. Let's see what happens if uh, my teammate can go for this. End up missing. The guy's pushing up for it. Ends up missing as well off the backboard. But they're kind of ready for it. Let my teammate try to go for it instead. This guy could go for this. So once again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shadow while my teammate's getting behind me. And now my teammate's behind me. I can go for this touch. And this might just be open. So me waiting there, let my teammate get some boost, get a good position so he can follow up behind me. And then just, you know, I just need to get a backflip of some, um, some sort. And uh, Smiley Face was really overcommitted right right next to uh, Chaco. Um, I wouldn't really say that's like the biggest mistake by Chaco. It's more so that Smiley Face was like way too pushed up. Could be a good shot, good save. And what I should do is when my teammate goes for that backflip uh, save, I could be the next one to support him on his touch because he, he did kind of pop it over the, over the net. I can wait for this. And this is where this is going to come into handy where I can uh, come into handy, come in handy where I can, you know, air roll my, my car uh, to a position where I can flip forward and it's not uncomfortable. Obviously, as you get better and better at the game, um, you can do better hits and follow it up with an air dribble. Once again, Smiley Face trying to pop the ball backwards when his teammate was already there for the ball. So a couple awkward positions where he doesn't need to back pass. Or he just needs to be aware of where his teammate is. Now, my teammate's once again getting behind me. You can see I'm waiting for him, and now I can go for a challenge. Not the greatest challenge, but my teammate's still behind him. Behind the play. Really good follow-up on the wall. I can try to chase this down. Let's see what they do here. They cleared across. My teammate's already ready for that clear across. I like that he's positioning and looking. Um, see if my teammate wants to take this while I'm in net. It's a decent follow-up, but he doesn't get a good, uh, good, good touch, so now Smiley Face is alone. I'm just waiting to see what kind of spill out happens. I'm going to pop this off the wall. I could have shot that towards target by going a little bit more to the right. We could pop towards net. Good save. I can go for this. They're going for the boost. So I'm just going to go for a shot. See what they do with the save. If you shoot that any faster, it definitely will be in. That's a really good shot down the field. It's going to pop up though. Just getting a, uh, getting used to those kind of reads of where the ramp ramp is in the play. Finally face missed. Go for a flick. I could have popped that a little bit to the left. And then that way it would be right to my teammate. But he was going for the mid boost and ended up backing off a little bit. So... Not the end of the world. I'm trying to show that, like, you don't have to play perfectly at all to, you know, make use of your position. This could be a shot here. See, I'm backing off. I'm, I'm see, recognizing the pass opportunity and not tunnel visioning on the ball. And just trying to uh, understand the space of where I am. It's all about understanding, like, distance here. I can't go up the wall and challenge that because he's already up the wall trying to make a pass down the field. Depending on how he makes this touch, it could be a good challenge for me. Good follow-up for my teammate. Not a great challenge for me. Try to bump this guy. He ends up staying with it. I'm going to rotate behind my teammate. Wait in net here. See what happens. It's off the backboard right now. I'm just going to follow it up afterwards. If if that is threatening towards target, then I will jump for it uh, earlier. But he's off the backboard. And he could have maybe made a good uh, shot off the backboard. And I really should jump up for it a little bit earlier. But I didn't really trust that he was going to. Good pop. Well, I like this. Oh my goodness, interesting play. They end up bumping each other again. And uh, I think Chaco was upset about that one, but this should be the end of the game here. And there we go. So I honestly don't feel like I did too much. My teammate played pretty well and he got the, the open goals there. I think we ended up say, did we end up scoring once or no? No, my teammate scored both goals. So really well played from him. We're in a full champ three lobby now. We actually division up again. We'll jump into the last game here. It's been a pretty quick uh, episode. I feel like I'm not sure why it feels quick, but hope I'm explaining things pretty well about what's going on in the games, what you can do to uh, play around your team. I know I keep saying that 2v2 is all about, uh, you know, 1v1s that swap up uh, in the game constantly. So just being able to support your teammate and swap positions uh, reliably is a really, really good tool in 2v2. When we go into the 3v3 series later on, I will start to explain uh, how to rotate in threes because it's quite a different, uh, quite a different environment. But let's jump into the next game, see how it goes. Another thing we're also noticing is that there's a there's a very very big uh, discrepancy between t uh, teammates and players that we're seeing in uh, Champ Three. Already we've seen people who have tried flip resets, who have done air dribbles, uh, who have done huge follow ups off the wall. Um, all all different players of different uh, play styles and different uh, reliable uh, mechanics. 
So the biggest thing about getting into those higher level ranks is just having all of those at your arsenal and and slowly working on you know different skills. Don't do what's always comfortable in ranks. Like you're never going to improve if you just do the same thing you always do. Now this I'm gonna wait for this touch to see what they do here. I am last man still, so I'm just gonna wait for this touch. Now he threw it away. Oh, that's really awkward though. It's gonna be a goal. They end up missing. It's a good shot. It's off the bar though. And a good shot. So my teammate ended up booming the ball off the backboard when I had a free clear or, or clear to the side. And that put us in a really tough situation. Like if you if you have the chance to clear the ball off to the side, you should definitely take those. You shouldn't be jumping up for a ball that uh, spills uh, spills out like that over the net because you're just going to cause more pressure for yourself. Really good finish though. Really, really good recovery off the goal that we, we just had. Um, he ended up, uh, I just left the ball here for my teammate. Popped off the backboard. Oh, I see. Tech actually made a really bad touch, and then Tree was able to take over. Once again, bad clear from the, the opponent on the backboard. They end up popping out uh, off the wall. I'll, I'll go into free play really quickly after this game and explain why the, these touches are so poor from these players that are on the backboard and show how you could approach the ball a little bit differently. It might be difficult to set up on my own in, in free play, but um, definitely, uh, sh I can definitely try. <laughs> go for 50 in the corner here. Now, I could go up the wall and try to pass this, but I'm not really comfortable doing that because... Oh, once again, another position where... Oh, they don't save it. Um, I, that was probably too good of a shot. Um, another position where a teammate tries to make a touch when he doesn't need to. He jumps up for it. But as you can see, him not going for this has so much room for me to make a pop. So if the ball goes over your head, it's not the end of the world if you're the first man. If you're second man, that's another story. But it also has to do with like where the opponents are and what they're going to do. I'm going to leave this back corner for him. I'm going to see what they do with this touch. And popping it across. Good fall for my teammate. Don't need to get that back corner boost necessarily. I already have 60. You can see my teammates once again in a position where he's trying to make a play. But as you can see, his touch just goes right back to them. So not necessary for him to make a touch there. What I can do is hit this off the wall. So it goes up awkwardly off the backboard. It forces them to make an awkward touch. And now we can just see what they do with this. This ball is going to bounce off the midfield. Or bounce off the midfield. The guy should have followed that up off the off the corner, but he ended up waiting. And now, really bad clear from Tech again, and they get a we get a goal again. So two pretty poor touches from Tech, where he didn't need to panic. There was nobody. If he just do, does a quick like uh, camera shift in the midfield and looks around for where the opponents are, you know, you can wait for this. See if this guy turns. He doesn't turn, so I have space on the ball. Uh, once again, I, I talked about this in the previous episodes, like going for a touch where it's behind the opponent and not necessarily towards target because that's where they're blocking will definitely uh give you some more space i'm last man here still just gonna wait to see what happens he keeps trying to make a play this is a good dribble opportunity good clear for my teammate once again just waiting and posturing to see what my teammate does to try and support me makes a pass here it's pretty scary if he doesn't go directly for that touch good try off the corner show my teammate now to turn on this Good clear on the field. Really good cut from Tech. Now I'm going to rotate behind my teammate again. Good clear for my teammate. My teammate's playing, playing really well. Opportunity to go for the shot here. Once again, just posturing for a play. Once I see that there's an opening, a green light in my head that goes, hey, I can go for this ball and it's not scary. Good save from uh, Nos or Nos. Oh, good shot. Good finish. Once again, what he's being why is he being toxic? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you being rude? All right. I guess he just wanted to be randomly toxic. I don't know why he's like calling to to a great. Maybe he had this guy before. <laughs> I have no idea. Now he's saying oops. Man, what is going on? It's so unnecessary. Like we're already winning. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> This is a good bump. I'm being really awkward in positioning here. This could be a good chance. Oh. What the heck is going on, man? Pop us off the backboard. Good save from Tech. Good pop forward. See if he finishes it. Really good shot as well. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know why he's being toxic. Well, that's the second episode in a row where the last game has been really weird. Either like being toxic to their teammate or just being toxic to the opponents. I mean, the guy definitely played really well. I didn't have to do too much, which just shows that, you know, we're playing a good positional game. 
awkward play from my teammate at the very beginning of the game, but otherwise he played really well. No comment on what he's been saying in the in the quick chats, but hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. Definitely trying to uh, make sure that the the information I'm giving you guys uh, throughout the episodes uh, can be used at all levels, not just the level we're playing at, uh, above and below. But before we finish the episode, I wanted to talk about that that wall play. So I'm gonna see if I can get the ball on my car. He caught, there was a ball right here that was at the wall and he went, he was behind the ball. This is gonna be hard to like do on my own. Let's see if I can get the ball to like, um, that should work. Let me do this again. So if I go like this, it's up the wall. He went like this and his car is flat against the ball. So you can see that spills out to mid. But um, when you have the ball coming to you, which I can see if it comes to me like this, um, getting to the side of the ball, hitting it to the, the side is gonna clear it a lot better. Um, and the more that you uh, get comfortable doing things like uh, catching the ball in a way that like if I if I pop catch the ball underneath like this, it'll pop it up uh, and out. But if I grab the ball when it's coming to me, I'm trying to get this ball to like land. I can I can cushion the ball and now I can keep the ball close and catch it like this so I can dribble. And the more that you can do these little skills, the more you're going to be feel, com feel comfortable on the backboard when there's something dangerous coming towards you. If I can clear this to the side. Oh my God, I hit the post. But you can clear this, the ball to the side um safely instead of popping the ball in the mid the last thing you want to do when you're on the backboard is uh you know hit it down like this and that even wasn't that good that was still better but like um I'm, it's hard to do this for in free play but you don't want to like pop it straight into the box area right here anywhere in the shooting zone within these uh six pads um it's gonna be dangerous so i wouldn't do that i would try to like try my best to oh it's gonna be really hard really fast ball here um I would catch the ball off to the side and stay with it if you want. I end up missing there, so you can see it's dangerous. Um, but getting some sort of play where you can you can stay close to it and then pop the ball off the wall, and you can do more things like follow it up like this to keep it down the field, and you know start to bring more tools into your arsenal to get better saves. Um, I'm not doing a good job of explaining this because it's really hard to do this in in free play uh, once no one's hitting the ball to you. I'm trying to like get good hits to me, um, but you can see that that wasn't a good clear because it was down the midfield. So the more that I can grab the ball safely and keep it close um and and force the ball into uh the opponents like in a 50 50 or something instead of just like clearing the ball in a midfield the better um another situation where the ball was like over the net like this and the guy cleared it like this off the backboard that's still really fast so that would have been okay um but the more that it's like awkward where he like pops it up i'm trying to like do what he did but it's so weird like in free play but the way that it, oh my gosh but the way that it like popped like this and he ended up popping it off the backboard softly like this but more like central was not good whereas if the ball was coming towards me and i just get a slightly different angle on the ball okay that's weird um different angle angle on the ball like this where it pops off to the side is just so much safer it's magnitude safer um so getting an angle on the ball where instead of popping towards directly where the ball went or came from you just get a, a different angle like this or it's off to the side this one's gonna go in the net but that's, it, basically i'm just trying to say like getting like off the goal side of the ball slightly is gonna change the angle like if i just go off this ball that pops towards me and shoot straight i can obviously go like that and this is such, such a simple explanation but um you know the ball the ball coming towards me is like the slightest change of angle on the ball is going to change where that ball uh, trajectory goes so just think about that in your next games uh hopefully you can shadow de uh defend a little better by making sure that any ball that pops towards you, you can get uh, onto the side of the ball and, you know, force them into the corners like this. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. Um, next episode will be out in uh, two days, I think. I'm trying to keep them pretty consistent, like two or three days. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the episodes. Like I said, until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.